what's guaffin' everyone, it's your boy Loz 4x4 and I am back with a little surprise series. Oh god, not another series! Don't panic, I'm still planning on playing through my council estate series and continuing those videos, but I'm also taking part in a lovely competition by the amazing Witching Mermaid called the So You Think You Can Cast Challenge. This competition has 20 competitors who are all simmers and were given a theme each week to create some sims using only game content. That's right, no CC. <laughs> no, seriously, no CC whatsoever. I couldn't believe how much I relied on CC previously because it took me so long to get it together and like kind of figure out how to make nice, unique faces again without just like, throwing a template on or you know changing the skin like it was it was yeah yeah we got there though we got there though <laughs> okay the moment's passed anyway this week the category was 90s fashion and the only criteria to get through is to make a couple now i'm not someone who even existed during the 90s but i do understand a lot of the 90s culture and see myself more in touch with the 90s era as a whole i mean like after all what isn't there to love about the 90s you had frosted tips buffy the vampire slayer destiny's child and the birth of the sims franchise and those are just some of the fabulous things to come from the 90s decade when I was approaching this challenge, I thought about the things I loved most that related to the 90s and ended up with the following inspo for my first sim, Christy. Yeah, it's all just Willow from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but she felt like the perfect reference point for some unique 90s witchy boho fashion. I love Willow's aesthetic. There's something so sort of quintessential to the way she presents herself and it just kind of rounds her character together in the series. You can look at her and know exactly who she is. For Christie's general vibe, I used Willow as the, the focal point for her kind of vibes, but I wanted her to feel like her own person still, and not necessarily just a full reflection of someone else. And that's where I threw Christie's hobbies into the mix. You see, Christie, alongside many of the sort of geek chic community in the 90s was really into activities such as Dungeons and Dragons and LARPing. <laughs> Which is sort of like Dungeons and Dragons on steroids, where people all meet up and roleplay as characters for entire weekends and have fantasy battles and drink loads of mead. As well as this, Christy also enjoys cosplaying as her favourite characters at events and functions, and you'll see all of these outfits after the first hot weather outfit. Oh my god, I had so much fun making these random costumes, by the way. I went first off with a LARPing fit, then I went and did comic book hero, followed by anime cosplay, and finally I shoved in a cheeky little bit of Star Wars Lukes for both of the sims that I made. I think they read really well, but let me know what you guys think.
I also fully delved into the personality options this time around and even went ahead and adjusted Christie's likes and dislikes as well as her sexuality settings. Spoilers, she's gay as hell, yes hunty. <laughs> Christy has the goal oriented uh, aspiration and the geek and bookworm traits. Next up we have my girl Amber and let me tell you I love how Amber turned out. Amber was based on a few different characters from the 90s. Um, Nancy from The Craft, Janice from Mean Girls and my personal fave Heather Mooney from Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Oh my god does anyone know Romy and Michelle? I feel like it's such a niche. It's so close to my heart. Like when I feel sick or sad or just you know just uh, I'm kind of missing it or just need to pick me up. It's Romy and Michelle. They're my go-to uh, like feel good girlies. Um, please, please comment and let me know if you've seen it before because none of my friends have. Um, and if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out and let me know what you think. Anyway, Amber, yeah. So basically, Amber is giving us like quintessential 90s goth extravaganza. She's a bit gothy, a bit grungy, and I think it's clear to see I had way more fun with, with making her because I made so many different looks for her. Um, later on though I found out that was a bit of a mistake on my part but more on that later. I found that the goth galore and the grunge revival kits came in quite handy for a lot of Amber's main looks obviously but I did try to stick uh, I, I didn't try to stick solely to those packs because I figured a lot of people would be using those packs since that kind of theme I figure would be a bit of a go-to um, for people's creator sims. Um, so yeah, and I kind of wanted Amber to stand up from the crowd. So you can see I used a, a, a few different items as well. It wasn't just those two packs, but yeah, they were, they were helpful. Um, I also decked out all of her likes and dislikes, etc. as well. Um, she has the live fast aspiration and the freegan and party animal traits and um, I had so much fun doing all of her costumes to go with Christie's as well oh my god they're so cute so yeah um, let me know what you guys think <laughs> and yeah there you have it uh, I hopped into the game made them girlfriends since Cass doesn't have that basic option available currently and then I uploaded them to the gallery.
There wasn't much else to do other than to edit this video and have a sneaky look at some other submissions. And it's the first round anyway, so there was like a 5 in 20 chance of me getting voted out. Amber's first outfit is now gone because it really wasn't my fave and since we're only doing the first outfit in each category, I had to bear that in mind. Which I'm so annoyed about because I loved my LARPing idea, so I really should have just put those outfits everywhere else, but it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we move. It's fine. You guys can have fun with it still. It's on the gallery. Um, and yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to Witching Mermaid for organising this competition. It's been so, so fun already and we're only just getting started. Um, if you guys want to check out Witching Mermaid, uh, she streams and is a, a talented as feck builder. Um, I'll link her content in the description. And be sure to tune in to the first round of judging on her Twitch, which I believe is this Tuesday coming. I'll be sure to let you guys know when that's happening on the Discord. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.